family reunion begins. So I volunteered, or at least that's how I remember it. It is the year 2007. Our family decided it was high time to get together for a family reunion. Mom wasn't getting any younger, and neither were the rest of us. With enough notice, we could get most of us together. What goes into a family reunion? First, where? After that, when, how many are going, how much is it going to cost? In addition, what is the theme? What are you going to eat? Who's going to fix it? Do you go out? And what are you going to do? Easy, right? In other words, how hard can this be? I was very optimistic. After some consulting with the older generation, we thought it would be great if we picked the town where my mother-in-law lived. That way she could be a part of the festivities. The little town was touristy stuff to do and has three lakes. We can rent a boat, we can fish, we can just hang out. Many of us prefer the latter option. There is a resort, cabins and a pool on the lake. The pictures were awesome. Cabins clustered in a, in a group. So now that we have the site, we need to get a head count, reserve the cabins, in addition to that, an RV space. And we need to know in a short period of time, put down the deposit and lock in the whole thing. No refunds. We had to make a trip down to visit mom-in-law in March. The reunion was slotted for July. We decided we'd check out the site. You know, get a real scope of it, make a few additional plans. This can't be it. No, this isn't right. Where's the water? There is mud everywhere. There isn't any water close enough to park a boat. Not to mention fishing. We had approximately 40 people coming from all over the United States, as far away as Pennsylvania, Virginia, North Carolina, Washington State, Texas, and various other states. Five or six of those families are military and had to get leave. We all work. It's not like we just can say, sorry boss, I'll take my vacation some other time. It just didn't work out. I am literally sick to my stomach. What am I going to do? I have all these people coming to a mud flat. Mud! Expecting a lake. I am almost in hysterics. We are supposed to meet mom-in-law for dinner. I'm not going to be able to eat anything. Sick. Sicker. Sickest. At the restaurant, waiting for service, we are discussing our horrible dilemma. Sometimes it can be good for the waitstaff to overhear your conversation. Yeah, it looks pretty bad. They had to drop the lake nine feet this year to clear out the dam. Don't worry, it'll be up by mid-April. Wait, what? Hallelujah, we are saved! Many times throughout our lives, we are standing at the edge, looking at that mud flat, thinking everything, everyone is dependent on me. What am I gonna do? We make ourselves sick because maybe we don't have all the information. However, right around the corner comes the good news. The idea, the job, the helping hand, the education, the answer we have been waiting for. We must keep plugging along until the right opportunity comes along. Keep plugging along. That opportunity is right around the corner.